Hello everyone. Welcome back to our video series, uh, Saints Marching. This is our weekly series during which we, um, in which we uh, feature a saint of the week each week and striving to learn more about the saints. I am selecting some of our lesser known saints in the hope that our knowledge of the saints will be expanded. Our saints marching, saint of the week this week, is Saint Gregory of Narek. His feast day, his memorial, is uh, February 27. He was born about the year 950 and his death was in the year uh, 1005. Saint Gregory, born in present-day Armenia, was raised in a monastery and later formally entered that monastery. It is called the Narek Monastery or the Narek uh, Narek Havank in what is now the nation of Turkey. There as a monk, he lived for nearly all of his life. At the time, Armenia was experiencing a sort of literature, uh, painting, architecture, and theological renaissance in which Gregory participated. As an Armenian monk, he lived humbly and taught at the, mona, uh, the mona, uh, excuse me, taught at the monastic school. He wrote his prayers in what is now known as the Encyclopedia Prayer for all of the nations that this monastery was developing. And he did this in the hope that the book and, and the monastery was publishing this book in the hope that one day it would help guide people of all stations of life across throughout the whole world uh, to deeper prayer. He was a leader of this well-developed school of Armenian mysticism at the Narek Monastery and uh, at one point was asked to give answer to the question, kind of tasked with this theological conundrum, this challenge, what can one offer to God our Creator who already has everything and knows everything better than we could ever express it? And his response to this question, he sat down to write his what is now his famous treatise that is now known as the Book of Prayer. In this book of prayer, known also as the Book of Lamentations or the Book of the Song of Songs, like his take on those scriptural books, uh, this book of prayer, he wrote that the answer to this profound and difficult question is the size of the heart. So again, that question is, what can one offer God who has everything? What, is he, what does he answer? The size of the heart, our deepest longings of our souls expressed in our prayers, which cannot be expressed in speech, as the scriptures say, but the Holy Spirit expresses our prayers for us the size of the heart. The book contains 91 prayers and was completed one year before he died. His book of prayer is the primary basis for why Pope Francis in the year 2015 uh, declared him to be a doctor of the church. Now, several miracles and pious traditions have been traced all the way back to the time of Gregory, to, to the man himself, so that he is frequently known as the watchful angel in human form. He is venerated as a saint by the Armenian Catholic Church and, of course, also recognized as a church in the Roman Catholic Church and a doctor of the church, as I mentioned, by Pope Francis. Uh, frequently in sacred art, he is portrayed holding his book, a book, but his book of prayer. And an interesting note about his contributions to um, the workings of the human spirit and the human mind, psych psych psychiatric researchers in recent decades have used his book of prayer remember, also known as the Book of Lamentations, they, were, they would use this, they would research his book, and they were able to develop a unique kind of therapy based on this book, which actually has been used to treat several diseases such as schizophrenia, hepatitis C, periodic diseases of various kinds, stress syndromes, and depression. All of this because of the insights that he had on the workings of the human mind and uh, the, uh, in human spirituality as, we, as displayed in like, human behaviors. So for all this, um, you know, his contributions have been have been phenomenal, and and recent discovery of this has again led him to be kind of rediscovered by the wider church, and again Pope Francis declared him to be a doctor of the church. So for all this, we give God thanks and praise for this wonderful saint, Saint Gregory of Narek. Pray for us. Please join me again next week as we continue our weekly video series, Saints Marching. God bless you all.